Hi everyone, this is Jenna for Scrapineers.com. I'm showing you today iColorama iPad app and iPhone app. Um, iColorama is a very extensive app, so we are going to have to do this in um, multiple videos because it, it can take a while. And I don't yet can grasp the full uh, capabilities of this app. It's really an amazing, incredible app. It remembers a little bit Photoshop and the way Photoshop works. Some things are very similar. Some things you're going to see that you are used to it because it, it, it has overlays, it has um, blend modes and all that. And it kind of works in layers. I'm going to show you how the layer works. You cannot actually see layers, but you're going to understand once we get it started. So this is the um, layout that you have here. On top here, you have categories, tone, preset, style, effects, adjust, brush, form, and texture. So you have your photo here that you can um, grasp. Here you can actually record steps that you do with it, and you have brush mask, and you have shape mask because you can actually mask the effects that you are doing in the picture if you want parts of the picture do not have a, a particular part of the picture that has the effect. So let's start with tone. So when you go in one of the categories and inside you have many other categories. That's why I say that it's a very extensive app and we don't want this um, first video to be so long. So here we have enhance and not just you have controls here, but if you see here on the side, you have presets. So each of the subcategories have preset. On this particular one, I have 27 presets. So you have enhanced modes here that you can choose. So let's suppose I'm going to start show you how the layer thing works. So let's apply this one. So once you apply it, when you go to steps, now I have two kind of layers. It's not really layers, it's kind of steps. But to me, I see as layers. So it's easier for you to blend in and blend out what you want. So if you see here, I have my original one. And every time you apply one effect, it creates another step. So you can always go back and forth with this. Okay. So we have pastels and in pastels we have 63 presets. The amount of presets that this app has is just amazing and just you can't put presets on top of presets and the way you do this you just apply and you go again to pastel and preset and you can apply another one on top of it. Um, Tint. Then here you have the blend modes that I said before. But these blend modes, they work on this particular uh, preset. So if you go here, it has 54 presets. And then your blend modes is going to apply on this particular preset modes. Okay, like that one, let's gonna apply again. And if we look back at our steps, now we have four steps. And I can always go back if I want, or I can go to my original. Lomo is one that I like a lot. And you also have uh, the blend modes here, and you have the presets. This one has just 10. It kind of saturate the picture. I really love this. Um, but let me show you if you want to use the brush here. So I don't know if you can see, but if I If 
if I brush here, it just go around my picture. And then if you use the brush mask, you can um, control the brush size and it just go here on the middle. I don't know if you can notice that, but and if you invert, it's gonna do the opposite. Me and him is gonna be without, and then everything else is gonna be. And you can, of course, erase the brush. Let's apply that. Then you have the Wotan, and you have the presets, and sepia, and more presets, and black and white, and you have black and white presets. And because I did the brush, the brush is gonna continue there. Of course, you can always go to erase, or you can go to the step modes and erase the brush effect that I did. I wanna go back to this one. You have match and this one I'm not familiar, I didn't play with this one yet, but I think you can do another picture and match the colors and stuff. Um, you have LUTs and then you have this kind of gradient thing here going on. And you have curves. And in the curves you have several um, 35 curves that you can adjust with it. So it's pretty amazing. So I hope you enjoy it and I'm going to come back with more of the presets types.